Hello everyone, today we will learn IMO International Mathematics Olympiad of Class 6, Chapter 6 Integers. Mathematical Reasoning. First problem, if star is an operation between M and N such that M star N means M minus of minus N, then simplify minus 6 star minus 4. Here what they given M star N which is equal to m minus of minus n. Then we have to solve the minus 6 star minus 4. Here m is minus 6 and n is minus 4. We have to find the value of minus 6 star minus 4. Given m star n equal to m minus of minus n. Here minus 6 star minus 4 which is equal to m is minus 6 minus n means minus 4 minus of minus 4 so which is which is equal to minus 6 minus of minus of minus is plus which is plus 4 minus 6 Minus of plus is minus. So minus 6 minus 4 which is minus 10. So option B is the correct one. Second question. The preceding number of the number line minus 6 is. Preceding means before number. So minus 6 minus 1. We have to subtract minus 1. Minus 6 minus 1 which is minus 7. So option B is the Correct one. Third question. Find the sum of minus 23, 18, minus 26 and minus 57. So, minus 23 plus 18 plus minus of minus 26 plus minus 57 which is minus 23 plus 18 plus into minus minus 26 and plus in minus minus 57. First we have to find the same sign. Minus 23, minus 26 and minus 57. So 23, 26 and 57. These are like signs. We have to add first. 3 plus 6, 9. 9 plus 6. 3 plus 6, 9. 9 plus 7, 16. Which is 10. So, minus 106 plus 18. Minus 106 plus 18 which is 106 and with 18. 16 minus 8 is 8 and 9 minus 1 is 8. So, the greater number is having minus symbol. So, minus 88. Minus 88 is the correct option. Fourth question. The additive inverse of the sum of the integers minus 9853 and minus 3187 is. First of all we have to find the sum of these two integers. So 9853 plus 3800. 187 which is 3 plus 7 is 10 1 8 plus 5 is 13 1 14 10 1 13 so the number is having negative symbol so minus 13040 but the additive inverse of the sum of these integers we know that the additive inverse of Inverse of A is minus A. So here and minus A is A. So here minus 13,040. The additive inverse of this number is plus 13,040. So option D is the correct one. Fifth question. Which sign will come in the box to make the expression 2? Minus 6 plus of minus 5 minus 2. 
minus 6 plus of minus 5 minus 2. First of all, we have to find the left hand side. Minus 6 plus of minus 2 minus 5 minus 2. So, minus 6 plus into minus minus 5 minus 2 which is minus 6 minus 5 minus 11 and minus 11 minus 2 which is minus 13 and right hand side minus 6 plus of minus 5 minus 2 according to the bidmas rule we have to find the brackets first so minus 6 plus minus 5 minus 2 which is minus 7 so minus 6 plus into minus minus 7 which is minus 6 minus 7 is minus 13 so both sides are equal so equal symbol is the correct option which is equal option c is the correct one sixth question Find the sum of the three integers lies between minus 2 and 2 is. This is the number line 0, 1, 2. And the left hand side minus 1 which is minus 2. We have to find the sum of the three integers lies between minus 2 and 2. The integers are minus 1, 0 and 1. We have to find the sum of these three integers. Minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, option A is the correct one. Seventh question. Select the correct statement. A. If the dividend and the divisor have opposite signs. Opposite signs means one is positive and another one is negative then the quotient will be negative which is the true statement the statement is true if two factors of a number are same sign then their product is positive same sign means the answer is positive for example plus into plus which is plus and if they are both sign negative minus into minus which is plus so the product is positive so this is also true statement if the added are of same sign then the sign of their sum is same as the sign of the addends which is also a true statement so all of these is the correct statements so option d is the correct one Eighth question, which of the following shows the maximum rise in temperature? A, 0 degrees to 10 degrees Celsius and B, minus 4 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius and C, minus 15 degrees Celsius to minus 8 degrees Celsius and D, minus 7 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. We have to find the maximum rise in temperature. So, first A option 0 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius which is 10 degrees minus 0 degrees which is 10 degrees Celsius. And next one 8 degrees Celsius minus of minus 4 degrees Celsius which is 8 minus of minus plus which is 12 degrees Celsius. And next minus 8 degrees Celsius minus of minus 15 degrees Celsius which is minus 8 plus 15 which is 7 degrees Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius minus of minus 7 degrees Celsius which is 0 plus 7 7 degrees Celsius. So, maximum raise which is 12 degrees Celsius. So, option B is the correct one. Ninth question. Which of the following is incorrect? A. Positive integer greater than 0, greater than negative integer, which is the true statement. For example, 3 is the positive integer, which is greater than 0, and greater than 
any negative integer which is minus 2. So, it is the true statement. And here B, positive integer greater than negative integer. For example, 3 is the positive integer is greater than any negative integer minus 2 and which is less than 0. So, this is also a true statement. 0 is less than any positive integer. 0 is less than any positive integer 2 and which is greater than negative integer. So, this is also a true statement. Positive integer, for example, a positive integer 5, which is greater than 0, this is also correct, and which is less than negative integer, which is minus 5. This is the false statement. So, option D is the correct one, because 0 is greater than minus 5. So, option D is the incorrect statement. Tenth question, in which of the following pairs of integers, the first integer is not on the left side of the other integer on a number line. A minus 1 comma 10, B minus 3 comma minus 5, C minus 5 comma minus 3 and D minus 6 comma 0. This is the number line 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. And first one, minus 1, minus 10. This is minus 1 and here 10. What they given in the question? The first integer, the first integer is minus 1. Is not on the left side of the other integer. So, here, minus 1 is left side on the other integer. So, which is the first one, A option is left side. Minus 1 is left side on the second integer, 10. And B option, minus 3, minus 5. Here it is minus 3 and here it is minus 5. Minus 3 is right side of, minus 3 is right side of minus 5. So, which is right side. And C is minus 5, minus 3, minus 5, minus 3. This is also a left side. And D, minus 6, yeah, 0. So, minus 6 is left side of 0. So, option B is the correct one, which is right side. Here in the question, which is not on the left side of the other integer. So, option B is the correct one. Eleventh question, subtract the largest four digit even positive integer from the largest five digit odd negative integer. So, largest even positive integer. Largest four digit even positive integer is 9998 and largest 5 digit odd negative integer which is minus 10001 what they given? Subtract 
the largest four digit even positive integer from largest five digit odd negative integer so the largest odd negative integer is 10001 minus 9998 so if both are like signs then we have to add so 10001 plus 9998 is 9 9 9 9 1 so minus 19999 so option D is the correct one 12th question which of the following is correct here minus 99 less than 0 less than 2 less than 37 minus 99 is less than 0 is correct and 0 is less than 2 which is correct and 2 less than minus 37 here it is the false one minus 37 is less than 2 so which is false statement minus 99 less than minus 37 less than 0 less than 2 minus 99 is less than 37 and which is less than 0 and 0 is less than 2 so it is true statement minus 37 which is less than 0 is correct and 0 is less than 2 which is correct and 2 is less than minus 99 which is false statement minus 99 is less than 2 but here 2 less than minus 99 so which is the false statement minus 37 less than minus 99 less than 0 less than 2 here minus 99 is less than minus 37 but here given wrong so which is the false statement so option b is the correct one 13th question sum of two integers is minus 35 if one of them is given which is 15 then find the other one yet so the sum of two integers the value is given which is minus 35 one of the number is given which is 15 we have to find the other number let the number be B X the sum of two numbers which is given minus 35 so X plus 15 which is equal to minus 35 so X equal to minus 35 minus 15 we have to transpose this 15 from this side so which is minus 35 minus 15 which is minus 50 so option C is the correct one 14th question what should be added to minus 12 plus of minus 98 minus of minus 84 plus of minus 7 to make 30 so minus 12 plus of minus 98 minus of minus 84 plus of minus 7 to make 30 so first we have to solve minus 12 minus of plus minus 98 minus of minus plus 84 minus of plus minus 7 we have to solve the same signs like signs minus 12 minus 98 which is 110 and 110 plus 7 is minus 117 plus 84 which is minus 30 3. Here what they given what number should be added from this number to get 30. Let the number be x. So x plus minus 33 which is equal to the given 30 so x equal to transpose this 33 that side so 30 plus 33 which is 63 so we should add 63 to get 30 so option b is the correct one 
फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन वन इज द डैश पॉजिटिव इंटीजा बट डैश इज द लार्जेस्ट नेगेटिव इंटीजा वन इज द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव इंटीजा बट माइनस वन इज द लार्जेस्ट नेगेटिव इंटीजा सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट वन सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन Multiply a negative integer for even number of times gives a dash result. So minus into minus, which is minus one into minus, which is plus. So even number of times we have to multiply the negative number, we get positive result. So option A is the correct one. Seventeenth question: The integer which is five units to the right of zero on the number line is. This is the number line. Here zero, one, two, three, four, five. Here what they given? Right side. So from five five units. So one, two. Three, four, and five. We get plus five. So option A is the correct one. Eighteenth question: Which of the following options shows the given number sentence? Minus thirteen plus of minus thirteen, which is equal to minus sixteen. This is the negative number. And this is also a negative integer. We get a negative integer. So the sum of two negative integers is negative integer. Here, when two positive integers are added, we get a positive integer. This is not the correct one. When two inti two negative integers are added, this is negative integer, and this one is negative integer. We get a negative integer. So we get a negative integer. This statement is correct one. The subtraction of an integer is the same. As the addition of its additive inverse, which is not related, so option B is the correct one. Nineteenth question: Subtract the sum of minus one twenty-five and one twenty from the difference of minus one sixty minus of minus two forty. First of all, the sum of minus one twenty-five plus one twenty, which is equal to Minus five and next minus one sixty minus of minus two forty, which is equal to minus one sixty minus of minus plus two forty, which is eighty. What they given the sum of minus one twenty five and one twenty from the difference of this one. So eighty minus Minus of minus five, which is equal to eighty plus five, which is eighty five. So option D is the correct one. Twenty eighth question: Amulya and Amma visited two places A and B respectively in Kashmir and recorded the minimum temperatures on a particular day as. Minus four degree Celsius at A and minus one degree Celsius at B. Which of the following statements is true? Here what they given? Amulya and Amar visited two places at A and B, respectively, in Kashmir and recorded the temperatures minus four degree Celsius and at A and minus one degree Celsius at B. Which of the following statements is true? A is colder than B. B is colder than A. There is a difference of two degree Celsius in the temperature. The temperature at A is four degree Celsius higher than that at B. So here, since minus four lies on the left side of of minus one on a number line. So, minus four degree Celsius, which is less than 
minus 1 degrees Celsius. So, A is colder than B. So, option A is the correct one. 21st question. Sunil has 35 rupees in his metro card. But his journey costs 42 rupees. What amount will be shown by the machine in the card at the time of exit? In his card he is having 35 rupees. But the journey cost is 42 rupees. So the machine is showing something. That what is? So he has... 35 rupees cost of journey which is equal to rupees 42 the machine is showing 35 minus 42 which is minus 7 so he has to pay minus 7 rupees the machine is showing minus 7 so option b is the Correct one. 22nd question. In a set of 12 questions, 4 marks are awarded for every correct answer and minus 2 marks for every wrong answer. Smriti gave 5 correct answer and 7 wrong answers. So what is his, her score? What is her score? Total 12 questions. Correct answer for 4 marks and Minus 2 for negative question, negative answer. So, Smriti gave 5 questions correct and 7 questions wrong answers. So, what is her, her score? Here, number of correct answer, which is 5 questions. So, each question carry 4 marks. So, 5, 4, jam. 20. 20 marks she scored and next number of wrong answers which is 7 and each question carry minus 2 for negative answer so 7 into minus 2 which is minus 14 marks so, out of 12 questions, twenty minus 14, she got only 6 marks. So, answer A is the correct one. 23rd question, Manya travelled 465 kilometers towards south and Ananya travelled 644 kilometers towards north from the same point. Find the distance between their final destination which is from this is the same point. Manya travelled from south and Ananya travelled to north. From the same point they moved. We have to find the distance. So which is 465 kilometers plus 644 kilometers which is 465 and 644. 9, 10, 1, 11. So answer is 1109 kilometers. So option A is the correct one. 24th question, Arun has 125 rupees in his savings account. He withdraws 117 rupees. In his account, he is having 125 rupees and he withdraws 117 rupees. Makes a deposit and again he makes a deposit of 45 rupees. And then withdraws, after depositing 45 degrees, he withdraws 69 rupees. So, what is the final amount left in his account? So, he is having 125 rupees. From that, he is withdrawn 117 rupees. 
which is 8 rupees left in his account. After that, a deposit of 45 rupees. So, he deposited again 45 rupees, which is in his account, he will get 53 rupees. After 53 rupees, again he withdraws 69 rupees. So, which is 53 minus 69, which is minus 16 rupees. So, option A is the correct one. Oh, sorry. 25th question, on one day the temperature on a hill at 8 p.m. was 2 degrees Celsius, but at midnight it fell down to minus 3 degrees Celsius. By how many degrees did the temperature fall? At 8 p.m. the temperature is 2 degrees Celsius. But at the midnight it falls to minus 3 degrees Celsius. So decrease in temperature which is. So. Temperature. At 8 pm. Which is 2 degrees Celsius. And temperature at midnight. which is minus 3 degrees Celsius. The temperature which is decreases. So, decrease in temperature. Equal to 2 degrees minus of minus 3 degrees Celsius, which is 2 minus of plus, minus of minus is plus. So, 2 plus 3, which is 5 degrees Celsius. So, option A is the correct one. Twenty-sixth question. Fill in the blanks. The additive identity of the integers is P. The integer which is 8 less than minus 24 is Q. Every integer less than 0 is R. So here the additive integer, additive identity of the integers is 0. Additive identity is 0. The integer which is less than minus 24, which is minus 24 minus 8. Less than means minus, which is minus 32. So Q is minus 32. Every integer less than 0 is negative which is 0 less than any integer which is negative so 0 p is 0 and q is minus 32 and r b negative so option a is the correct one 27th question match the following first one 0 2 minus 3 which is 0 minus 3 and again, minus 3 to 3, which is 6 steps, goes right side. So, which is, first one, 0 to minus 3. So, 0 minus 3 and again, minus 3 to 3, which is 6 steps. So, plus 6, which is equal to minus 3 plus 6. And second one, 0 to plus 5. 0 plus 5. And again he came backward which is 9 steps. 5 to minus 4 which is 9 steps. So minus 9 which is equal to 5 minus 9. And third one. 0 to minus 4. 0 minus 4. And again minus 4 to 0 which is 4 steps which is minus 4 plus 4 fourth one 0 to 4 which is 0 plus 4 and again he came backward 4 to minus 4 which is 8 steps he came backward so which is minus 8 which is 4 minus 8 so, first one is minus 3 plus 6. C is the first one. And 5 minus 9 is the second one. 
and minus 4 plus 4 which is third one and 4 minus 8 is fourth one. So, 28th question, which of the following statements is incorrect? All negative numbers are less than 0. Yes, this is the true statement. All the negative numbers which are less than 0. There is no greatest or smallest integer. Yes, this is the true statement. There is no greatest and smallest integer. If x and y are integers, then x minus 1 y is also an integer. This is also a true statement. Minus 21 which is less than minus 25. Since minus 25 lies on the left side of minus 21 on the number line which is the false statement. Minus 25 is right side of the minus 21. So which is false statement. Minus 21 greater than minus 25. So Option D is the correct one. 29th question. State T for true and F for false. Since 5 greater than 3. Therefore, minus 5 greater than minus 3. Which is a false statement. Minus 3 is greater than minus 5. So, this is the false statement. The difference between an integer and its additive inverse is always even, which is true statement. The difference between an integer and its additive inverse is always even number only. The sum of three different integers can never be zero, which is false statement. The sum of three different integers can never be zero. For example, minus one plus minus two plus three, which is zero. But in the question they given can never be zero. But here zero will come. So this is the false statement. All whole numbers are integers. Yes, this is the true statement. All the whole numbers are integers. So, first one is false and second one is true. Third one is false and fourth one is true. So, option C is the correct one. Thirty-eighth question. Match the following. The additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. This is 1 and the greatest negative integer is the greatest negative integer is minus 1. So, this is 2. The smallest integer greater than every negative integer which is 0. That is third one. And sum of predecessor and successor of 1 is 2. This is fourth one. So, option B is the correct one. 1 goes to B and 2 goes to D and 3 goes to A and 4 goes to C. So, option B is the correct one. Thank you.